Martin realizes he's there as they come off the corner. Elliott has the momentum and just shum, goes right by. Not too long after that, Alan Kowicki took the second position away from Mark Martin. Now here's Davey Allison involved in a battle with Jeff Bodine and number 15. Lake Speed is also right there. And the number 12 car driven by Jimmy Spencer. Spencer having another great run in Bobby Allison's car, currently shown in eighth spot. And this battle between Davey Allison and Jeff Bodine is for sixth. So Bodine could get by, Spencer could get by, put him back to eighth. Tighten up this point down the window. It would, it would appear to me that several of these cars need pit stops. We're going to be expecting that. Won't be long, I tell you. Another eight or ten laps. Looks like Bodine is able to make the pass. He has. Now Davis back in seven. Yep. While we watch this, we will tell you that uh, Ricky Rudd has been able to uh, hold on to fifth position despite the loss of the power steering a few laps ago. I think he adjusted to it pretty quickly. Had to be a shock when that thing went out. You know what in the world has gone wrong here? Yep. Is it going to turn when it gets to the corner? But once he learned what it was, he has adjusted to it and uh, still in fifth position. Little doubt as to who the sentimental favorite is to win this race and the championship today. It is Georgia's Bill Elliott from Dawsonville. Now they're second and third. Kowicki, a Wisconsin driver, and Mark Martin, originally from Indiana. Jerry, what's the problem on that car? Well, Martin, Mark Martin is ready up and told his crew the car is getting very, very loose. Steve Mills told me they will plan to bring him in around lap 147. That's about four laps, about three and a half laps away. So we'll watch and see if they bring the Valvoline car in and put some fresh tires on in about three laps. From his in-car camera, you guys see evidence of him fighting the thing? No, it doesn't look that way, is it? Okay, now if we awarded the points right now, Davey Allison would win by six points over Kowicki by 11 over Bill Elliott. This thing is very, very close. It is tightening up. Whoa. Six points. <laughs> There's Davey. Spencer in the number 12 car. And Lake Speed. Once again, Lake will lap down to these two cars. This car running into as well as Allison's or Spencer's. Just as uh, we were talking about Morgan Shepard, you know, slowing on the racetrack just before the big wreck happened. Well, Morgan is still out there running for his fans. He is three laps down, currently being shown in 27th position, but the sit go forward is still out there running. There we are. There's Morgan Shepard inside the sit go forward. He's running pretty good now. I don't know what might have happened if he had an ignition to go out or what happened, but he seems to be running fairly strong right now. Those 24 degree banks don't look very steep when they're running that speed, do they? <laughs> no, they don't. Not from inside that race car. Believe me, that's exactly the view you see from inside that seat. They look about flat. Bill Elliott continues to lead in the Budweiser Four for Junior Johnson and Tim Brewer. Their second place, Kowicki. And third, Mark Martin. Now, Jerry indicated that uh, about lap 147 was the target for a pit stop on the Martin car. 47 occurred, lap 147 occurred, so maybe he will be coming in this lap. We'll see. Listen, here comes Earnhardt. Now he ran out of gas. He didn't want to do that again. <laughs> That's right. He was hoping for hoping for a caution, but he didn't get it. So he comes in this time, Jerry. He's not taking a chance of running out of gas. He's heading towards you. 
Absolutely not. And uh, this is a scheduled pit stop for Dale Earnhardt. And he is pitting down at the far end of pit road, right beside where they are waiting for Martin Martin to come in. In fact, Martin should be coming in next time by. Earnhardt brings the Goodrich Chevrolet to a stop. And he had come from two laps down. The car running very well. They think that it may not have been a valve spring, quite honestly. They now think it may have a pinhole in the header causing the, the car to shudder a little bit. That's why the car is still running as well as it is. They have changed right side tires. Now put the left side Goodyear Eagles on. Back with the lug nuts, fill it up with fuel, get ready to pull the jack, and Earnhardt is away. Now he'll find himself until the leader's pit, about two laps down. But they have a pit stop coming up. If they don't get caught like they did before, with that caution coming out, well, he could still be okay. Earnhardt's most recent win here in Atlanta was in 1990 in the Watercraft Spring Race. Last time he won a fall race was in 89. There's Elliott continuing to lead. And it looks like he has stretched out the advantage a little bit on Kowicki and Mark Martin. Martin staying out there. Now Martin's car seems to be running. Now he's coming in now. He's coming in the pits this way. Down off the banking. Making sure he observes the speed limit on pit road, which is 55 miles an hour. Jerry, from the roof cam, we see him headed toward you. And Mark Martin was trying to make this car last as many laps as he could, realizing the other workers should be in between lap 154 and 157. He made it three extra laps, but the car was just going away. So now he brings the valve in punt. Ford Thunderbird to a stop on pit road. Right side tires going up. Very, very diligently cleaning the windshield. Remember, as the sun gets lower here in the afternoon, that is a critical part of the pit stop. Getting that windshield clean so the driver can see. Now left side tires going on. They hope to be able to correct that loose race car. All rushed up being fastened. He is down and away. 24 second pit stop for Mark Martin as he stays below that white line and gets it back on the track. John Kern and Ricky Rudd is in. It's a four tire change for Ricky Rudd. Talked with Gary Dehart, the crew chief moments ago about the power steering. It is out. He thinks maybe a belt could have fallen off and gotten knocked off. So Ricky does not have power steering, having to adjust the way he drives in the race car. Right's already on, left side's going on. They had hoped to get a caution so they can check under the hood. But Ricky will just take on four tires and two cans of fuel. He's down and away, headed towards turn one. Made a good pit stop. Jeff Gordon rolls off of pit road behind Ricky. So does Sterling Marlin. There's Jeff going out of the pits right now, and here comes Sterling. He's already gotten four new tires on the Maxwell House Ford and is building back up to speed as he heads into turn number one. Been shift in the third gear. Play with the gas. Now as he drives up on the bank, he'll shift in the fourth gear. Yep. Al Kowicki about to come into the pits. His crew there ready for him with the board out. And when he does, he'll relinquish second position. Inside Sterling Marlin's car. 189. There comes Al Kowicki towards the pits. And Jerry Bunch coming towards you. And remember, Benny Parsons, he does not have first gear. NASCAR has allowed his crew to push the car off of pit road, so we'll watch to make sure the car doesn't stall. That could cost him some valuable time, maybe even a lap, if the car were to stall. Here's Kowicki bringing the car number seven in, hoping to pick up a win and a championship. Paul Andrews with crew now. Danny Glad, go to work. We would expect to see a routine four-tire change. Right by Kowicki, Davey Allison brings the hat one for Thunderbird. They are pitting nose to tail here on pit road. Seven on the bottom of your screen, 28 on the top. They have already put the left side tire down on Quickie's car. He puts it's an assist. The car does fire and pulls away. They are still now working on the Davy Allison Haviland Ford Thunderbird, our point leader, getting left side tire through very, very deliberate to make sure every one nut is fastened. Davy puts it back in gear, spins the tires, and he's away. Allison moving back out. Others are making stops now. Terry Labonte brings his car into pit road. There is Terry in the Sunoco car. John Kernan right there. 
This will be another four tire change, making sure that they get the windshield clean. Paul Mecca, the PR man out there, actually doing windshield service today. Right side's already on, left's going on. Jimmy Spencer, guys, is a car to watch. He just came in and only changed right side tires one lap ago. Terry Labonte is now finished with pit work, and he is headed down pit road. Well, Terry Labonte started this race from sixth position, and here comes Bill Elliott. The leader is on pit road, again, slowing to make sure he observes the 